welcome to Island Hooking. Today is raining, so I figured instead of fishing, I come do a video for you guys. And a lot of people have been asking me about the Coat Sniper. And they've also been asking me about the Daiwa SP Mino. I guess they want to know what's the difference between them both. Um, since they look uh, kind of similar, um, they want to know what makes them different and to me, which lure is the better lure. So, let's talk about the difference right off the bat. If you look, this is the Daiwa, this is the Shimano. If you put them side to side, you notice that the Daiwa is a lot longer than the Shimano. Also, the Daiwa is a little bit heavier. I think the Daiwa is about 1.2 ounces, give or take, and the Shimano is about 1 ounce, give or take. So, and the Daiwa flies farther than the Shimano. So, so far, Daiwa is longer, Daiwa is heavier, and throws farther. But, what makes the Shimano different is that the, the inside is a little more sophisticated. It has a spring with the weight system inside and what happens is when you're ready to cast the weight moves to the end and then when you throw it the spring pushes the weight to the center so it creates less hiccup in fact no hiccup pretty much um, it flies true and straight all the time um, if you know if i shake it you can't hear anything because the spring actually puts pressure and tension on that weight and you know you have to check out youtube you know, they'll explain more on how this system works compared to the Daiwa now the Daiwa has no spring it's just waste moving back and forth <clears throat> um, thing is, is that when you're casting with the Daiwa you just have to make sure you shake the tip a little R move, rattle the slow a little because what happens is sometimes the weight gets stuck in the center by rattling it it moves the weight to the end and then of course when you go it'll move to the center so sometimes if you don't shake it it'll and you'll know when it's when it, the weight didn't move to the center i mean to the end it'll fly and flop in the air and then hard in the water so sometimes we get some hiccups with this and with the shimano there's no hiccups um again you know you can check out the videos on shimano check out see how good this lure is when it comes to the weight distribution in in the lures um but i gotta say that the shimano swims nice in the water um, but the Daiwa swims harder um, now I use a, I use soft pose for this like on ugly stick because the, the tip is softer I mean you can use a stiffer pose but I prefer to use the soft pose on this tip because I like the tip to do a lot of the action and of course these lures you don't have to do much but I, I like to feel the lure and when I, I'm using the Shimano, I can barely feel it going left to right compared to the Daiwa. I mean, the Daiwa, you can feel it right to the pole. I can feel it going left to right really hard. And to me, I know, I know, I think that the, the, the fish here in Hawaii, the Milo or the GT, they love when the fish gives a little more action. But yet, keep in mind though, I did catch with both of them. I did miss one and caught a blue bone with this. And I did miss one and I caught on a Milo with this. So, you know, they do work. And that's why I keep both of them. Um, they're great lures to have. Uh, this is the sinking one, by the way, and this is the floating one. Uh, difference, this one stays above the water and this one doesn't. This one goes, you can choose the depth that you like. And, and one thing I like about sinking, I like the idea where I get to choose the depth. But I do have the floating one for the um, Daiwa as well. It works the same as the sinking, except of course it won't go as deep as this. It will probably go about three feet deep and that's about it and up. Um, but still great lore to have uh, but if I had to um, choose the lore I would have to pick the Daiwa and the only reason why I picked the Daiwa over the Shimano is that um, though they both throw they both fly far because this one flies a tad farther um, yeah, yet there's still great lures for the smaller bays um, and you know get them around the rocks or the GT you know maybe like to hide and ambush and you can get it between the rocks and all that. So these lures are so good to have in Taka Box. But not only does it throw a little bit farther, I like it because for one thing, if you look at it, I don't know, I, I, I just think that the Daiwa puts out better light. It has better prism, it shines better, and I, I just think that it looks like more like scales compared to the, the Shimano. Um, but that's just to me, you know. Uh, but yet they still shine great in the water. I, I just think that this one shines just a tad better. Um, and also, I like the left to right action, the, 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 it bangs harder than the Shimano. 
So that's why only reason why I picked the Daiwa over the Shimano because of not only the, the, the shine and the looks, but I like it because she moves hard to the left or right. You know, it creates a little more action. And I think the fish here in Hawaii do like that. Uh, but yet, I still keep both of them. Because again, to me, they're still great lures. Um, and I did catch it both. But if I had to choose, it would be this. So that's just my two cents, that's just me. And some of you guys might pick the Shimano over the Dawa and vice versa. But I hope this kind of clears it up for you guys a um, little bit on the differences and which one I feel is the better lure. And again, they still work great. They're almost similar in the water. They, you know, distance is almost the same, so it's a little bit tad, you know, farther. They both fly straight, except the Shimano to me flies a tad straighter. Um, this one no hiccups when, when, when casting. This one have once in a while. Uh, longer, shorter, but to me, shines better and has better action. So um, that's just me. But I'll, of course, still be using this. I still have my taco box and I'm gonna catch more fish with this and you guys get to see it on island hooking. And so keep watching and I hope I cleared up some of the um, things that you guys want to know about and I hope that it helped and I hope to see you guys soon and I'll get you guys more videos out there and you guys take care of yourself and I'll check you guys later and see you guys later on I'm looking. Take care. So caught him on my Shimano uh, coat sniper. Whew. Wow, right in the head, in the body. Oh, I like that, yeah? Wow.